such that it, it sits flush on the water, it sits flat. The clink hammer is on a curved hook and has no tail, and it sits down so the, the hackle supporting it, the parachute hackle supports it, and the weight of the hook and the tail, it hangs down in the water. And it's absolutely, I mean, the fish cannot resist it. I mean, it, it just sits there with everything, its little tail hanging down. It'll have a go at it, um, nine times out of ten. You can tie it in all sorts of colors, um, all sorts of sizes, um, to match what you're fishing for. I found that unless there's a hatch on, um, they're not fussy about the color or the size too much. I mean, uh, probably a size 14 is a good all-around one. And if there's no hatch on, most times they'll take it. Uh, my favorite color is orange or black. Um, I think they're colors that they can see easily. Um, and so for just prospecting the water, those are my two favorite colors, either an orange or a black. And I'm talking about the color of the body here. Um, a very good color combination seems to be a grizzly hackle and a black body, either ribbed or not ribbed. And the orange one, I usually put a grizzly on, on as well. But frankly, I doubt whether it makes any difference to the fish, what color the hackle is or whatever. Now, if there's a hatch on, things are different. You know, if you've got thousands of flies on the water, um, then you do have to, you know, match the match the colors and the size, um, just as you would for any other fly. But 99 times out of 100, how often you get on the water and there are blanket hatches? Not very often. Um, certainly not out, not in Vancouver Island in my experience. Um, so generally if you tie a size 14 um, with an orange body or a black body, um, that's going to cover a lot of situations for you. Okay, it's a reasonably easy fly to tie. Although, undoubtedly, I'm going to make it look difficult. Did you have so, to bend that hook? No, I haven't bent it. Um, it looks okay to me. Um, the, the original clink hammer hooks, you'll see in the book, they tell you to bend them. And, uh, and I do that, but they, the partridge now come out with a what they call a clink hammer extreme hook, which already has the bend in it. But a good hook, if you're not going to use the partridge, which are very expensive and unnecessary in my opinion, if you get a light wire caddis hook, that'll do the trick for you. Or this one here, uh, the one we're using, is a, is a Mustad C49S. It'll do. It's a bit, it's a bit heavy, so it won't, the, the fly won't float as long. But there's... Um, Tiemco do one, I think there's one of them's a 2545 or something. It's a caddis hook anyway. There's one that's heavy and there's one that's light. And if you get the light one, it's very, very good. And I'm sure must have those one as well. hooks. Yeah. There's yeah. yeah, I'm not very familiar with the Daiichi hooks. But you basically you want a curved caddis hook light wire. You're talking about Tiemco? Tiemco, yeah. Okay, there is. The Barbus TMC 24. Kind of spew shrimp down I fine wire. That would be a good one. 24, 2487BL or 2487. That's, um, that's a caddis hook, short uh, fine wire. And that's got a downturned eye, so. Yeah, it doesn't matter. And, and this one, the, the 206BL, has got the uh, straight eye. Yeah, it's, this, you'd have to bend this at the top there. So I think that would be a good hook. Okay, I'm going to start it on. Start the thread on. For a post, um, polypropylene is probably the most popular because it, it does float. But frankly, once you get down to the... If, you, if you're relying on the polypropylene to keep the fly afloat, the fly isn't fishing its best. So I, I try to put on something which is very easy to see. And for me, that's um, Antron. Okay, so let's pop it on. Now, 
going to come back, go in front of it, and put as many turns as you need to keep that upright a bit. I'm using 8-0 tying thread. I think for this size you could use 6 or 8. Now I'm now going to go up and I'm going to wind it, starting at the bottom, I'm going to wind it up. I'm going to have to hold this if my nerves were a little better. Just to stiffen the post. That's the only purpose of this. Do you ever use glue on it to make it stick yep. up there? Yep, I do sometimes. Um, yeah, if you put a bit of crazy glue on it, and uh, or a little head cement and let it dry, that will stiffen it up and make it a little easier to work with. But I think that's a bit of a bother. And it's probably better to just practice you don't need to need to do it. Okay, now so I've stiffened it up a bit, sitting pretty straight up. Now I'm gonna work my way down. I'm not worrying to cover all of this Antron. And now I cut about half of it off, down to half. Can you pull that out? Because what I want to do is taper it uh, to some extent. Make it look a little neater. You can tie them with or without ribs. Um, I'll, I don't think it makes much difference to the trout, although it might do. Um, the one advantage of a rib is that it keeps the body thin. And that's one of the keys to catching fish with a clink hammer. The body's got to be thin. If it's too thick, it doesn't sit down properly, um, it doesn't look attractive to the fish. Remember the insects hatching at the surface are mighty thin. So try and keep it thin. I think he emphasizes that on that book too. So I'm just going to put a little holographic rib here. Okay. Now some dubbing. Um, you can use any dubbing, fine dubbing. It needs to be fine stuff. If you use something like rabbit's fur, which I think this is, there's the advantage that it will absorb moisture so, the, so it will cock and set properly quicker um, if it's got a bit of a heavy part down here as soon as it touches the water it'll, it'll set properly so rabbit dubbing is, uh, is good but you can use anything, use, use synthetics if you want to and keep it thin on and it'll smooth out this body a bit. Is that a wire rib? No, that's no. holographic <coughs> tinsel. Okay. Uh, where the hell did it go? Oh here it is. Here. And so yeah, real light helmet. Yeah, thin stuff. The main purpose, it does give it a little bit of flash, which might help you sometimes, but I think the primary purpose is it keeps this body thin in the water. It stops it from fluffing out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we get rid of that. Okay, 